Welcome back. <laughs> so, I'm. I just have to laugh this week. I don't know if you noticed that I put up a video. I saw you put up the. Uh, I think I even left a like on it. It's like a compilation video, right? Yeah, it was just basically all of it. It was just just raw footage of all of the the, the stupid deaths that have happened. Right. And I guess rel relatively recently, like for one, it got uh you know of course immediately pretty much flagged as inappropriate for. You know, uh, not suitable for all advertisers. Why? And so, and then, you know what's funny? I m submitted a review on it, and because it hit a decent amount of uh, views really fast, they got to it really fast and confirmed it and upheld it. Why is that not suitable for advertisers? I, I, so I, I wrote to them and just said I wrote to one of the the emails I had from previously, like fighting with them over this, and said I just need you to give me. The exact rationale and the reasoning that this was deemed after manual review is still there. Like, for, for one, I want to know exactly what it was. And I have a feeling it's because the title's people shaming. And I bet that they look at that as like, oh, this is terrible. This person's inciting, like, violence or something like that. Uh, uh, but I want them to say why. And tell me why. They probably I want to know, won't. was it the title? They'll probably give was you some bullshit content? thing like, our internal uh, reasoning for things like this is is, is not, you know, we, we can't share that. There's some bullshit like that. I, I, I'm, sh I'm sure that's exactly what they're going to say, too, but I want them to tell me. But either way, apparently it got picked up by, like, um, our videos at some point. And good, it didn't, like, it didn't go insane, which is, like, fine. Especially since it didn't get any fucking ads. Well, yeah, I, I think it earned me like forty-eight cents. It said, like, in the thing, but whatever. That's not what it was there for. Uh, but have you read the comments? Uh, uh, whenever I watched it, it just got uploaded, so there really wasn't any comments. It is absolutely baffling to me how many people blame me. You for this happening? Well, and, how is it your fault? And, well, it just makes me laugh because. Some of the comments range. It's so funny because it's on my view. My video is the one that has the, the worst comments. The the Reddit actually had a lot of nasty comments, but they were more like people being racist in in Reddit. But they weren't like against me. They were like against the concept of like what was happening, and then it like spawned off in some other discussion. But the views on or the the comments on the video on the channel are like a lot of them are really against me. Because honestly, like it ranges from people saying that they it's like inappropriate for me to not have moved at this point. Like that's you as, need to move. You need so to pick yes, up your house yes. and go it, somewhere else. This it, how it's, it your best house is basically haunted. Yeah, <laughs> as far as that, I I should move. How inappropriate it is of me because I haven't done anything to prevent this. What the fuck are you supposed to do? I mean, I guess well, there are some things that I've talked about that you could do, but. <clears throat> there's not a lot you can really do one comment made me laugh and i had to reply to it because it was it was so and this is so funny because these comments are just making me laugh like it's not i'm like i look at it i'm like are, are you really like serious in this respect right now <laughs> but this one person has is determined that this He's like, I looked at the dates, and now I I thought it was just a shame at first. Then I looked at the dates, and the fact that this goes back to 2016, this is your fault for not doing anything. You clearly only did this for the views. You set up this to let it happen for the views. Yes, yes. I, I've been letting my packages get stolen <laughs> to get some YouTube views. <laughs> so, And then he went on to say that, it's baffling that I won't lock the gate at the street and that that would prevent all this from happening. And my response was, so if I lock the gate, how do I get my packages? Do you think they'll be safer on the sidewalk? <laughs> and, and, then, and then I said, like, I was like, and uh, if and I said, and you caught me, it definitely I had this brilliant idea back in 2016 that I was going to get all the views and have had the long con running ever since. Hope yeah, he's just been, just been waiting. Any day now, I'm going to put this video out. It's going to fucking skyrocket this channel into the stars. 
Jesus Christ. But it, it is it is so baffling to me. And a lot of people, I think, mistakenly think that I should get a P.O. box. And we've discussed why yeah. that that won't necessarily work. But then other people find it completely acceptable, like what I, that I should have places set up at like a mailboxes, et cetera, like all the different locations and have them always hold my package and just go pick them up. That it's my fault for not going out of my way and going to pick them up. So and it's thinking, okay that this guy's stealing from you. That's not a problem. The problem is that yeah. you haven't changed something to prevent the, the theft. Yeah, and one guy's really mad at me because I never got an eye-level camera. Like, I don't have, like, a ring doorbell, so therefore it's my fault because I don't have a good enough camera system. The, what's that going to do? Like, because you could identify the person easier. Oh, well, apparently. I mean, maybe you should have better cameras. And, I mean, I can, I can, I can sure, kind of agree be, that that would, that would yeah, help it, identify the person. Oh, yeah, but, it, it, might, it might help to have a better camera. But, but I was wondering, are your cameras visible? Can they easily see that they're being recorded? Like, uh, I was yeah. wondering so, if you yeah, should they, put, like, signs up or something that's like, so, hey, well, I'm recording funny. you if you're trying to steal my package. So, like, just blatantly so, say it. Yeah, and I potentially should have some signs up there. And I am building a box to go on the porch to hopefully that – hopefully it will get used and people will put the packages in it. I'm afraid that the carriers aren't going to do it because, honestly, they could take two steps to their left and put it down the stairs. Or set it, like, one step down, which they're not doing. So I can't imagine they're going to go out of the way to put it in a box I have for package delivery. But yeah. we'll find out when I get the when I get the box built. But if you look at the very end clip on what I put out there, it is a very close-up face view because I literally have a camera sitting on the fence. That's I was wondering why you had the, that, one, that one clip that was, like, the face thing. I'm surprised so your camera hasn't been stolen, honestly. Yeah, well, yeah, I, right, and but that's how, like, for one, it's there. There is a face camera. It's not the greatest, but it's there. It's clearly visible, but it doesn't deter people. I do, I do believe that if you put a sign out there that says, like, literally says, if you're here to steal my package, just so you know, I'm recording, uh, like, everything you're doing or something like to that extent. Well, I, I should do that with the picture of people doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah! You should fucking basically like like you see in like all the liquor stores where they're like, yeah. "Have you seen this man or whatever?" Yeah, you should fucking put a bunch of pictures of the people that have stolen. Like, just so you know, the police are aware, and I'm recording still or something. But how trashy does that make your house look? You just have pictures of people well, like on your front door. I, I mean, not as trashy as a bunch of little fucking uh, peanuts all over the front porch. That one where the guy that's, just that just leaves. Yep, he just ripped everything out. Yeah, that is. Oh, my God, I got a hole. Um. Oh God, I'm getting this. I'm getting pummeled by a skeleton. <laughs> pummeled. How many blocks in my bar? Quick. Woo. That was that was a little scary. Yeah. It's uh. But but I mean I'm kind of upset with myself that I I haven't moved yet. You know. I how, I do how agree. Dare me. I mean how shit. Dare me for the million moved. dollars you paid for that damn house, you could have bought twelve in another state. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just, it's definitely my fault for not having decided that. Well, package got stolen. Time to move. Time on. to move. <laughs> it's, it's, it's over. Life God. is done. Well, I mean, no one else can live there either, right? Because they'll probably uh, well, get packages I too. Mean, you can live there until you get your, I guess it probably your first package, it's shame on them. And then your second package, it's shame on you. Ah, uh, so, okay. I, I guess you're allowed to have works. one package stolen to live somewhere. You know, it, it just sounds it sounds right. It makes sense. I, I, I get it perfectly sense logical. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious to me. Uh, it's I, it's I mean, it was so uh, I just it's so baffling. Like not only the fact that YouTube won't let me, you know, make any money off of this thing. It's like, you know, if you're going to be ballsy and in public view, just steal shit like it, I should be able to put it out there in public shame people. I don't. Is there a, something against public shaming? I mean. I, I I don't I mean I don't know probably there probably is but I don't know I don't know that seems bizarre I I, I hope they do respond to you so you can actually know why I bet they and, and I almost guarantee it's because of the title and I'm not changing it and is that what the title is public shaming yes yeah okay I didn't even it's, know. it's like all thefts public shaming or something like that because uh, you know I was yeah I, mean, I it is what it is I ain't I ain't lying to you. <laughs> The only reason I put it out there was to basically public shame people, you know? Yeah. It's uh and I feel comfortable with it. And if you're not gonna pay me for it, it's fine, fuck you. I'll still publicly shame these people. 
I mean, what would I have made anyway off of this thing? Probably like, you know, it, well, it's a it, short it, video, it, so it can't even have like short, mid rolls or anything yeah. like that. It'd probably, it'd probably be like 10 bucks if that, that I really make off of this thing. How many views did it get since it got in our videos? Uh, like 20,000, around 20,000. That's nice. Did you get any subs so, or anything? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I, there's a handful, but I get a handful of subs. And so, I still am baffled by the whole sub count thing. My sub count is going down, but. I still get emails every single day of like a handful of people that subscribe to me. So it's just, you know, more unsubs, which I still don't believe is truly a thing. I think it is. I don't think it's phys people physically going and unsubscribing. I think that uh, YouTube just drops subscribers if they haven't watched oh, your videos in a while. So that I would completely agree with that. And, and I can definitely see that that being possible. If it's some algorithm of some type, that auto drops you from somebody if you haven't watched the videos or if your account is old. I would get that. But, you know, haven't they claimed that they haven't done any of those mass, you know, dead they, Well, they said they don't do the mass dead accounts, but they haven't ever said that they don't just randomly unsubscribe people that don't watch. Yeah, that would make more sense to me because I really just still don't think it's – I don't think that many people are manually going in and saying, I'm done with this guy every day. Right. You the know, after day, videos like this, maybe. I had like 3,000 new people follow me on Twitter the other day, and I have no idea why. Thank you, Onion. Um, what was I going to say to you? Damn it, I don't forgot. Well, damn it, what was it? I was going to ask you something. I don't know now. It's gone. I don't know. Does your brain know? No, I didn't tell it. <laughs> I do know my brain's telling me that... Uh, Randomanius is an awesome person. Oh, yeah? Yep. I call them, uh, Randomanus. I mean, it's, uh, you know, as I was saying it, I was like, hmm, could be a much, a much better name here. <laughs> what, what's your, what, sir, you made it big on YouTube. You're a legend. What is, what is your name? So everybody can follow you. Random anus. <laughs> Tell the children. Uh, mm. <laughs> Tell the children. Build the children. Well, I mean, that's you know pretty much you know when you're dealing with gaming content and all, you know, it's you know, kid, kid, kids are still a big part of it, whether it's even adult focused content or not. You still got a lot of kids that are your core audience for sure. So earlier today, my Google Photos was like, remember this day in October, and uh, it was your party, and uh, did you set up Wait, the same you... uh, person living underneath you? Yeah. yeah. Is she gonna go all out again this year for Halloween? She already did. She already, she already went to like the last weekend was like the weekend for Halloween oh, around okay. here. So she had like, uh, as I was leaving on like Thursday night, she had a party to go to and she was just decked out in some, I don't know what it was costume. It was some movie I had, I've never seen, but it was, you know, some big white angel face craziness. Huh. And then she came over to our house. I'm trying to remember what she was wearing when she came over to our house. Cause we had like a, you know, the, our, our little party this weekend as well. It wasn't oh, as big as last for some reason year. I was thinking it was this coming weekend. I guess that, that doesn't make sense. That'd be after Halloween, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, it'd be after Halloween. Yeah. So we had it this last weekend and it was, uh, it wasn't that big though. It only like 15 people came. But okay. last time, I think God, there was like 30 to 50 people. Yeah. There was a shitload of people there last time. I think this weekend, this time there was like three different competing parties and, uh, Everybody was kind of bouncing between them all, and would you would you dress up as? Did you dress up? Uh, no, I just I threw on a bunch of random lions that I had around because I didn't have time to get a costume. And I just said <laughs> I was a big lions fan, just so I could wear something. And actually, I'll be honest, not many people that came over dressed up. Uh, so my daughter's school last week they sent home this thing, and they were like, on Halloween you're supposed to dress up as a hero in the community. And so my daughter's like Halloween. Uh, thing this Did you dress this, up as me well i wish i had a fucking firefighter thing because so like what well, no, it was like it was no you know it just said it just said a hero it didn't even say in the community it just said a hero right um and so i was like well you, your, your halloween costume is vampirina and like she does heroic things like that that don't work she still wanted to dress up basically as her vampirina costume for which What's is like vampirina? a disney character you probably know what vampirina is a disney yeah. vampire um and uh so like I was like that that's fine. She's like yeah yeah you know she rescues her friends and rescues her animals and all this stuff. And so we both agreed this was fine. And then today the teacher sends home a thing saying just to be clear, the hero needs to be a community member and a citizen, not a fictional character. And it's like, well fucking Wait, cool. This, you tell me the night before. Is this for Halloween? Yeah, it's tomorrow. So 
be a community member and a citizen? Yeah, like a real. You're making the kid dress up as a citizen. Like a real citizen, ba like basically, like I guess, like don't be coming to school with Superman. So basically, is what the fuck it was saying. Um, and so, like, I'm I like, understand. I like scrambled and went to like Walmart, and of course, all the fucking Halloween uh, things are gone at Walmart. And she's like, "Well, I could be a firefighter." And I'm like, "Well, if we can find a fucking firefighter thing." Um, and of course, there there wasn't. I found one outfit for a nurse, and I'm like, uh, "You want to be a nurse?" So that was that. Like that's that so was, she's still me. She's still <laughs> you. Yes. Uh, but yeah, it was really really upset. And then I get home with the fucking nurse costume, and it's like super short. Wait, don't tell me. Don't tell me it was like a slutty nurse costume. Well, I mean, basically <laughs> it is. It's not really, but it's like super fucking short. And not only that, it's completely see through. Um, so like I, I don't know. I'm like gonna put her on like le leggings and like uh, a shirt underneath it, but I don't know. It is, but it's meant for children. It's yes. not just like yeah, no, it's meant. I mean, it's I mean, you, or you was be, it meant for really petite ladies? You'd you be the to smallest be damn, smallest person in the world. Uh, yeah, <laughs> only midgets. <laughs> That's what what a weird concept. Like you're, uh, we're telling you what your Halloween costume has to be like in concept and then even limiting the pool more right like, but guess, you know what it's I, not it's it, i mean it's technically it's spirit week so like every day this week like monday was hat day tuesday was like uh, wear your school shirts um so like every day this week there's something um friday's tacky day which i don't even know what the fuck that means wear um, a bunch of tacks and <laughs> i'm just gonna like Folks fuck her hair things. up and uh i don't know put on some mismatched clothes i don't know Tomorrow or not tomorrow? Uh, Thursday is College Sports Day, and it's like, well, fuck, I don't, we don't own any college sports, anything, because we don't give a fuck about college sports. Dude, find some like the most obscure sport you possibly can. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm not buying any more damn clothes. I had to go buy a stupid Halloween costume tonight. Give Something. her, give her a tube, and uh, like a water tube that you play in the pool with. Do you have one of those? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and say she's doing intramural water polo. <laughs> we used to have we used to play intramural uh, uh, inner tube water polo at my college like that was one of the <laughs> one of the things that we did for the Greek week and stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna dress in her hat and her Harry Potter stuff and she quidditch. I mean, but that's not a real college goon. I almost <laughs> guarantee you're gonna get a random thing that's gonna come out and say the same thing. Well, like, I bet you tomorrow. I bet when I drop wait. her off at school, I see a ton of fucking kids going into the school dressed as Superman and Spider Man and whatever the fuck else. I'm gonna be super upset about it. Well, there there's nurses on TV and stuff too. Does that like does she have to be a specific nurse? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. It's just uh a hero in the community. So, I don't know. But yeah, she basically, she wanted to be a fire a firefighter. Um, but that wasn't an option. There was like, no, I mean, it was, it was awful. Man, had I, I wish I had known before I could have sent you, um, the little plastic. She has a little plastic firefighter hat, actually, because she got it whenever we went and saw the, like the fire, went, we went out of the fire station sometime last year. But that's all she has, so I couldn't like, yeah, it's, it's like that wasn't yeah. enough. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, we don't really have the rest of the costume that we give to kids either. <laughs> yeah. It's just that. Yeah. But... <laughs> I mean, you could, uh, I could have sent you down with some of my spare gear. That would have probably cost a lot to mail, and it probably <laughs> right. is not legal, or it would be against the county policy at least. For... Probably. I wonder if there's more glowstone at Breon's place. In the nether? I'm sure there is. Well, uh, it's the wish farm, so there should yeah, be yeah, that's like, at the wish plenty farm. of glowstone over there. I'm going to see. Whoa, my God. I'm getting crazy. Crazy lag out of every so often. I could never fly. I it's funny I jumped off of like a three or four block tall thing and couldn't fly and then I jumped like from the ground standing and flew no problem. <laughs> it was I really it's the lag I just think it's the lag and the way it realizes when you're hitting keys on the server side. Yeah. Like flying over here I'm just going along and that stop like I hit a brick wall. Yeah, that's that's very annoying when that happens. But I don't think the game was ever designed for you to move that fast. Probably not. Hey, does Vex still make any uh, super hostile maps? I think he's. I think I saw a tweet. Either I dreamed that he tweeted, or he actually tweeted that he was making a new one. 
But he hasn't. Did we play the latest one that he has that's out already? Yeah. That's unfortunate. I was really thinking. I was thinking like when we like get this all finished and move on to something else, like you know what could we do some some modded or something? And I was like, I wonder if Vex. Like it's been long enough that we might be able to jump into another super hostile again. But I don't know if any exist. He uh like he because remember he he basically started the Patreon thing and that's where all his efforts went. But wasn't that a long time ago? Yeah. Or wasn't that Patreon thing about making a super hostile? It was super hostile online, and so he stopped making maps. It was a server. Oh, it's the online thing. Yeah. Okay. That's the sound I'll be trying to fly. I see. <laughs> you believe? Do you believe you can fly? <laughs> It sounds like just one of those beanies that you know you wear on your hat with a little propeller on it. it just, the rubber band just like wound down. It was like <laughs> it's, it's done. Uh, okay, I did it. I did it. I'm flying, man. Are you flying up or down? Straight. <laughs> good, good, good for you. <laughs> that straight flight. Uh, probably got. I probably got. Oh man, I got so many blocks on the ground. That's probably not helping things. No, probably not. Well, it's just when you're digging with these picks, that you pick them up so fast and you break them so fast, you don't realize that your inventory is full. Right. All right, this well, be, this is here. we've hit a good stopping point while you clean up your mess. <laughs> All right, folks, we will see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody. Bye.